What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Topps Archives Baseball just sold out. This is a hobby 10-box case break. Two random teams each, number one. So, again, everybody gets two random teams. Uh, in the break, we'll randomize the customer names and teams. Whatever you match up is what you get. Remember, guys, Indians do not have any autographs, but they, any non-sport autographs will be going to the Cleveland Indians. Ten boxes per case, 24 packs per box. Eight cards per pack, and then find two on-card autographs per hobby box. Remember, no veteran common ship. So again, just a little example of what that is. There'll be regular designs of like, uh, you know, of course, the flagships throughout the years. Um, you know, so as you can see, there'll be rookies. There'll be base cards like Ron Santo, right, in the 57 tops design. And then there'll be rookies like Ryan Mountcastle in the 57 design. Well, guess what? All of these players that are not RCs will not be shipping in this design, right? But of course, the swing and A's insert, that's an insert. That's not a base, right? So that'll ship, right? The um, 20, uh, 2001 Never Forgotten is an insert. That's going to ship. The uh, Bazooka Shining Stars, the you know big minis, that'll ship. Those are all inserts. Those will be shipping. Of course, like I said, it's just the veterans in all the designs from 1957, 1962, 2001, 2011, etc., etc. Just a little FYI. So, and Jack, I don't know what the 29, what 29, 2091 looks like, but they talk about it right here, though. Digs out a crystal ball to spotlight the futuristic 2091 design. So, we'll figure it out when we see it. So, there you go. There's the dice roller. There's the customer names. We doubled them up. Teams, dice roll it. Three and a two, five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, and like I said, this probably won't get sorted out for the next few days anyways. So hopefully by then they have variations. And again, most of the time, the variations are pretty easy to spot on uh, with, uh, you know, high number variation or a player photo variation, um, et cetera, et cetera. The codes on the back. So, you know, just a little FYI. So there's five right there. Let's copy and paste the names. We've got that there. Five times here. Check out the checklist, Hollywood. That'll definitely help you out. I dropped it right there earlier. Two, three four and five Cleveland Indians down to the Minnesota Twins so there you go Jack if of course there is any non-sport autographs that'll be going to you so Jack you have the Cleveland Indians Steve with the Tigers Orioles Jonathan with the Rockies Michael with the Pirates Derek with the Brewers and Rays Steve Burch with the Giants Barry with the Dodgers Jack with the Braves William with the Mets Sean with the Reds Victor with the Mariners Padres Arthur with the Phillies Victor with the Cardinals Angels Steve Burch with the Nationals uh, Victor with the Blue Jays Michael with the A's Richard Miller with the Ast uh, Astros Steve Burch with the Marlins Royals Arthur with the Rangers um, William with the Red Sox Sean with the D-backs Jonathan with the Cubs Okay, you don't even have to trade Jonathan See that? Rich with the Yankees, Victor with the White Sox, and Barry with the Minnesota Twins. Billion for clean drinking water, 65 billion. 
Yeah, Hollywood, so look at If you look right here in the fan favorites autograph section, and they're going to be spread out. But just a little FYI, they can check it out right here. See how this one says Lauren Shahadi? How it says MLB Network? That is a non MLB, uh, non MLB, uh, non sport autograph. So that Lauren Shahadi would go to the um, Cleveland Indians. And then, you know, you kind of just have to find them. They're all going to be different things, basically. So go through all the autographs, and like I said, they'll go through them. If there's only a couple, well, then it's only going to be a couple. But it's kind of those kind of autographs, basically. And again, they also have Topps Original Buyback autographs. I mean, they're not listed on the checklist. So again, those could potentially be other ones as well. Um, but basically, those kind of stuff. And if you need to look at the Excel spreadsheet, I'm sure you can click on it. All right, any trades, guys? Because if not, I'm going to close it. Also, guys, I'm going to just start ripping this box open. Alright, I'm just closing the trade window. So what I'll probably do guys is rip half of the boxes right now and then we'll go through the six boxes and then rip the next six boxes or next five boxes sorry and then go through the next five since it is only a total of ten. And I assume the posters will all go to the teams that are represented so like the family poster there, Dave Parker, Willie Stardrill, Manny will go to of course Pirates. Just a little F5. Slam Diego. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if Sean wanted to trade the Reds and D-backs for the Mariners, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because he either loves the Mariners or would like potential chances at Kellenic and stuff. But obviously, the Reds are pretty good, too. They have Jonathan India. So. But I don't think I don't think Sean was going to trade any of those teams, only probably for the Mariners. So that's why they didn't entertain other trades. You know, maybe Sean's just a big, 
Mariners fan. That too. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, 1985 Seattle Mariners. That's pretty cool. My, oh my, sorry, I should say. Also, guys, these these uh, posters aren't going to be in perfect grading condition. If you, <laughs> so just remember that they're all bent in here. So, like father, like son. So, just remember that. And the majority of them will be all for one team. But let's just say someone like this, where it's Biggio, Vladdy, Dante Bichette, Bo Bichette. It's meant to show like obviously all the the Blue Jays. I mean, we can look at the checklist, of course. You know, so. But I think those should all be going to the Blue Jays, basically. Seems a little bit more than normal, but okay. Yeah. It's all good, Sean. We'll just rip one box at a time. Go through the hits. So like I said, that's a rookie. That'll be shipping. Something like this won't be shipping. Unless, some, like I said, some, some are short prints and stuff like that. But hopefully we can figure that out by the time we get sorted into this. So like this is not a short print. I mean, sorry, this is not a base. This is a little bazooka insert, so that'll be shipping. I think the 2091s are probably a little harder. I, I have no idea, though. It's my first time actually ripping this, so. Well, at least this year's, I should say. So I don't know what the odds are for everything. Draft pick killer off. Probably Delbeck. Soto. 
I've seen that Honus Wagner twice already. Mount Castle. Garcia, Trevor Rogers, Vladdy Blue. And there you go, Greg Amsinger, which is a host. Leading on air personalities across MLB Network's programming, the St. Louis native hosts the Emmy Award winning flagship sh uh, studio show MLB Tonight. As well as the network's exclusive coverage of the MLB Draft, Greg joined the network in 2009, having previously hosted college sports programming for CBS Sports Network and worked on local TV. So, Jack, something like this will be going to you with the Cleveland Indians. So there you go. Buster Posey, it's like a little foil. That's number to 150. Mookie. And Steve Blass for the Pirates. Yep. Anything that is not veteran base, Jack. Anything that is not veteran base. I don't even have we passed by 2091 yet to, to to see the difference. I don't think we have. Remember, no veteran base ship. So as an example, this is not going to ship. 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 This will ship. You know that will ship. That's an insert. Ship, non-ship, 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 non-ship. You know rookies. Oh yeah, well, if 29. Well, someone when I pass a 2091, show me what it is, because I don't really know so much. But yeah, if it's a base card, then no. If Indians a rookie, he will be shipping Hollywood. Like I said, anything that's rookie, insert, short print, autograph, number card, will all be shipping. Just no veteran base. That is it. <laughs> Again, Victory, so as long as it's not a veteran base, you will be getting it. If it's a veteran base, you will be not. Will not be getting it, sorry. Just as it said in the item description, no vet base ships. So, you know, for your angels, right? Yes, you will be getting something like this, you know. Um, but anything that's veteran base, you not. Looks like a finest or something. Gotcha. Hollywood personals, you get everything. You don't have to worry about that. So if you want all the cards, go buy personals for sure, Hollywood. You don't have to worry about that. And personals, we ship everything you buy. So. Whether it's a million cards or one card, you get everything if you do want it. So, yeah, if you want to collect all these different players and cards, then yeah. Personals will definitely be your best friend. But when it comes to group breaks, you know, we're not shipping the veteran base, that's all. Okay. 
Uh, it gets donated, Victory. So, I don't know if you can really see it from over here, but we donate the money to charity. We put 500 cards in these 500 count boxes. We sell them for $5. And for the most part, I think it's the same charity it's been for a little bit, but all that money gets donated to charity. You know? So, that's what we do. It was, it's very popular, actually, man. If you ever come visit our shop, um, you know, if you ever come visit our shop, it's very popular. People buy it out, like, all the time. It's perfect for the kids, you know, that are getting into collecting. You know, you don't have to spend too much, and you get all your favorite players and stuff like that, especially since they're all veteran-based. And I know there is some people out there, guys, that do love veteran base and want to collect it. I get that, you know. But for the majority, I would have to say, especially now, more than 90% of the people don't really care for the base. So that's also a reason why we don't ship it. Uh, because obviously, it makes everything a little heavier. Most people don't even care for it anyways. And it makes the sorting and shipping process a lot longer. So I think some people rather just have it donated, you know. And they're okay with that. We have customers all the time come drop off their veteran base because... They don't, they don't want to throw it away, you know, but they don't care for it either. But, Richard, yeah, I mean, this is all, if you're interested, maybe, I don't know. I'm not saying we will. Don't quote me, but if you're interested in buying this veteran base, as if we would put it inside these $5 count boxes, I'm pretty sure that won't be a problem. But, again, don't quote me. It all gets donated anyway, so... But we're just not going to specifically go look for the Cubs players for you. You know, the Angels players for you. We're just going to give it to you all in whatever fits in the box, basically. Yeah, <laughs> you can always ask, but I can't guarantee they're going to say yes. But if you don't really care for the certain players you're chasing because you're doing the whole set, I don't think it would be a problem. But yeah, it doesn't hurt to ask. It does not hurt to ask. Jonathan India is a rookie in 2021. Hollywood, so. Now, I can't say that he's in every single 2021 set because they always leave out certain players in certain sets, but I wouldn't doubt that he's not in this set. But don't quote me again. Look at the checklist. So I'm removing two boxes right now at a time, guys. We can kind of speed up the break a little bit. Sounds very nice, like Victor. But actually, I got a when I stepped away, I actually got a call uh, from family that there was a little family emergency, so I actually have to dip out of uh, Los Angeles once I get out of here. So we'll have to rain check on some future ice cream. Day. Bob, Chris Bryant, Ooh. Dave Roberts, 
Manager, Dodgers. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, definitely need some for sure. <clears throat> Dodgers, Barry. Cunha. There's Jonathan India right there. The Lubov? Oh, is it those ones? Oh, okay. I know which ones they are now. Hold on. I know which ones you're talking about. These ones right here? I assume that's the one you're talking about. And Javier Baez. To 150. That's going to go to the Mets. Gotcha. <laughs> That's funny how they put like 140 years. Judge. And Dontrell Willis. Wow. Remember Dontrell Willis? Marlins. Slam Diego. So there you go. That's all those right there. So Brian Hayes. Carlson. It's a green border. Number to 125. Actually, guys, you know what? I'm going to double check that. I didn't miss any other number cards. I only caught one in the first box, but this one had two. Might be a little sneaky sometimes. Like I said, the shipping team, if there's like some short prints that they figure out and stuff, they'll look through all that before obviously deciding what is a base or not. So, but I'm just trying to figure out and get as much as any short prints or any numbered cards as much as I can here throughout the break. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm missing any. So the first box only had one. I didn't see anybody, anything else. Let me see. that one right there. Alright, just those two actually. To one twenty five. So it looks like at least two per box, which is good. There, Got the big heads there, Andrew Vaughn right there. Yeah, Rich, that's the only other one I caught, so good eyes, good eyes. Wow, more managers. Dusty Baker.
to 150, Whit Merrifield. The 2091 insert. So there's just a little bit of difference between the number and not the number, so you just have to really catch it. But I think I got it down after the first two. Uh, I'm not sure, Victory. I don't. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stream it since I'm doing this break. But you guys can give me a play-by-play -play on what's happening. I'd appreciate it. Trey Mancini to 99. Cunha big head. The killer bees. That's kind of cool. And Mark Loretta for the San Diego Padres. There you go. And Rosario, number to 75. I know. I was just wondering, if, that's if, all. If it, if it looks like a different color, probably... Yeah, yeah. No, I've caught on Twitter. I was just wondering. All right, so so far these are the autographs we've gotten, and then these have been the numbered cards. I'll go back and double check, but this box I did find three. The last box I did only find two, and then the first one I missed one, and I had caught one. But I'm thinking it's no more than two to three, but I'll be double checking for sure. Now, after the few first boxes, I kind of got a hang of what it's looking like. It's just something a little different, whether it's a little shimmer, color. Soccer in one of these? Soccer might be that one, I believe. If, if not, then yeah. it's the other one. <laughs> Those are a lot, yeah. <laughs> well, I think, I don't know if this is the one. There's another one that's worse, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, why are you buying this crap? <laughs> I 
Yeah, no, I mean, thank you, Rich, for helping me out there, buddy. I really appreciate it. It's probably just like any but any other box break. Like, sometimes you'll get three on average, right? And sometimes you might get four. Sometimes you might only get two. But I went back, right, and I found the one you talked about. I didn't find the Sparkle one, but maybe I did miss that one. But the second box definitely only had two. And then the third box did have three. So that's why I was kind of like, huh. Because it doesn't list it in the checklist, does it? It doesn't tell you that you get X amount of number of cards, right? And there's really not too many different color parallels to them, right? So there's rainbow foil, green, silver, red, red foil. Okay, so there actually is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, of course, foil fractor. I wish in the hobby box average it would tell you two autographs, X amount of number of cards, etc., etc. Yeah. So rainbow foil is at a 150, green's at a 125, silver's at a 99, red is at a 75, red hot foil is at a 50, and then blue foil at a 25 is a hobby exclusive, and then orange hot foil is a hobby exclusive to 15, and then foil fracture you can probably find anywhere. hectic it's frustrating right but then again you like if you're gonna set collect you're gonna do a rainbow for a specific player uh, it's a it's, it's a chase though and it's a fun chase sometimes yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> I know a couple of people that still do set collectings and it's just a thrill that's all right you go to a different local card shops you shop online get into group breaks it's I, I get I get how fun it is for sure. But it also is very stressful. It's like we put our own stress on ourselves. We shouldn't have... This is not necessary for us to do this, right? But we love it, so... I remember last year when they created Mosaic Football. For the first time with Mosaic Basketball. I loved it so much that I created, like, a whole color rainbow of, of Miles Sanders and Don McNabb. And I'm actually still fairly close. I'm only missing the true black one-on-ones. I've got the Nebula. I got every other color in Mosaic. Except for the pinks out of 10. Those are the only other two colors I don't have. So, I don't have the mosaic uh, black one of one. But I do have the choice nebulas. And I'm just missing the fluorescent pinks out of 10. I have every other fluorescent. I have every other color. Except the black one of ones. And, and, the, mos and the fluorescents. I got the Nebula, though. That's my favorite one of one The Black Finite's cool, but the Nebula one of one from Choice was my favorite one, though. I might have to do it with Devontae Smith this year, too. I don't know. Lauren Shahadi. So there you go. That's a host autograph again. So that's going to go to the Cleveland Indians. There you go. There's a little foil right there. Number to 150, Lou Bob. Chicago White Sox.
Pull the Grom out of five and then I can just so build his set of variations again. Ah. <laughs> and uh, it's because, like, once you pull, like, one of the shorter prints or one of the hardest cards in the set, you kind of think, oh. I already got that out of five. <laughs> right? <laughs> All I need is the one of one. And then every other color, I'll probably be able to get it. Or every other serial number, I'll probably be able to get it. But sometimes it doesn't really go that way. John Flaherty for the Yankees. Yankees, that's going to Richard Miller. There's a red border, Tariq. Number to 75 for the Detroit Tigers by Steve Birch. Entire night if I pinnacle football trophy collection parallel set and just a few months ago got the final card of inches. Wow, how how satisfying was that, Sean? <laughs> how satisfying was that that after all of these years since '95, <laughs> like you got it, man. And like, have you been actively looking for it just since then, like every day or every week? Like you, you just never forgot about it. It was always just there. That's amazing. Ooh, a little mini. Alright. This one I only seen two numbered cards, right? Just the Tarek and the Lubov. I'll double check those again, but I think it's averaging between two to three. I haven't had one with less, so... I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, shoot. I almost missed that autograph. Kyle Lewis. Shining Stars autograph. There you go. Seattle. That is going to victory. Oh, the mini might have counted at one? Maybe. I mean, that makes sense. Had a chance at the card 96 and thought the guy was too expensive. I know, right? Probably. I mean, maybe now... Now it probably wasn't that, that expensive, right? And then missed a few over the years, too. Gotcha. Well, that's awesome, man. Congrats. Now you can kind of put that to rest and then do something else.
see something sparkly right here. Wow. 70th anniversary tops. Number to 50. Anthony Rendon. For the Angels. Paul LaDuca. Met this guy a handful of times already, especially at the National. Paul LaDuca. Dodgers. trips me out. I feel like it's blue background or something like a blue color. But it's not. It's just blue. Alrighty. So again, these will all be shipped there to those. Let's put these over here to the side. So these are all the number cards we've accumulated over the past five boxes. And I'll make sure to double check that we didn't miss any. These are the autos we've got so far. Actually, let me put these over here somewhere that's safer. Out of the way. Ooh, Uncle Larry. That's an awesome one. this up actually I've never actually broke standing up I want to see what it feels like because now this table actually goes up so we actually have the opportunity to uh, to raise it up just a little bit although actually I think it kind of fucked it up right there maybe not the boys of Zimmer Kind of cool. It's actually still a little too small for me. Cubs do anything that year, Hollywood? 1989? 1989? What was, what was memorable about, about that year? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Duh. Cubs hadn't won anything since 2016, I forgot. <laughs> so it had to be playoffs. Only, I should say, I guess. My mistake. Murderers Row.
Whoa, really? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Hollywood, but did that really happen? I feel like that doesn't really happen too often. Usually it's like an instance of like, you know, something tragic. Like, I remember I, I went to a Dodgers game one year. It's just like when, when it was like Manny Wood era. I don't remember who it was, man, but... And they hit a foul ball right to the third baseline and just knocked out this dude. And he was like bleeding like crazy. I don't know they had to take him to the ambulance, but... Oh, wow, okay. Different situation. Looking over this chat, this is crazy. The variations are mostly logo swaps and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we do this for a little bit. We'll try our best for sure. I mean, if there's any, any ones that we try to catch here, you know, obviously, it'd be best, but... I mean, at the same time, I, I'd assume that there's not too many short prints. Like, let me actually look at that. Like, where is the short print list? Because what we'll do is that, uh, um, what we'll do is if there's only like, let's say, like right here, right? So there's base variation checklist, code it ends on 97. Then what we'll do is we'll only look for these teams on these players, you know, when we're sorting the teams out and then flip out, flip back the players you know what I mean and see if they're if see if they pop up so anytime we pass a Jackie Robinson when we're splitting it up we'll put it to the side we'll put you know Mike Trout to the side etc etc and then that's how we'll find the, the, the short prints but there's that one there's 70 years emblem of variation set code ends in 98 so what we'll probably do is just be looking at the codes that might be the easiest thing too ends in 97 ends in 98 and I think that's it right base short prints checklist will be like Mickey Mantle Yankees number seven, 107. So yeah, we're we're gonna definitely have to uh, print out some of these sheets for when it, the time does come to sort this out. And obviously, it is it is gonna be a longer sort, so It'll take a few days, anyways. Yeah, that's true. I guess I should uh, any mantles. I guess for sure. Don't worry, those those will go out too, Rich. Now I'm just trying to think how we passed the mantle. <laughs> have we passed the mantle already? Oh no, for sure. I mean, trust me, we've done this before. When we look at the codes for series one and series two and shit sometimes it's, it's a hassle don't get me wrong it is but i mean you got to do what you got to do right that's the one thing you know people don't really people don't really understand how time consuming sorting could be you know it really really takes some time what i'm saying I, I love how like series one series two and all that like the jumbos and i think now just in general all those series updates all the short prints are flipped backwards it just really saves us a lot of time like we appreciate that you know right because it's just so hard to find those variations all the time by looking at codes like what the hell man and i get it sometimes you might miss a code so you probably still have to check it or they might not flip a card backwards but those are easy to find but these kind of short prints where it's like francisco Lindor's name is neon instead of white like you know stuff like that it's like man it's such a hassle so 
So it's like, for for this is an archive. I get it though. Archives has always been like this with those crazy short prints and, and numbered cards like hiding. So I, I don't really blame archives. I guess. I mean, Top's making a product of this. this is normal. People love this shit. But for other stuff, like don't make the short prints so hard, guys. Just just flip it around. You know, make it easy. Have it in a pattern so we know where it's at already. <laughs> It'll probably increase the revenue because honestly, we'll buy it more if we knew where the short prints are at already. We don't have to search for hours looking for them. Oof. Oh, 11 and 1. Oof. Yeah, Coyote's got to get out of Arizona, unfortunately. Start fresh somewhere else. Well, my Kings though, Jack have been watching some Kings games. Gave up under the lead the other last night, but came back and still won in overtime. Four game winning streak. Started off great against the Vegas Golden Knights week one. Dominated and went on like a six game losing streak. Lost in overtime. And then they've been on a four game winning streak. It's been great. Well, fins up, I'll tell you this. It is close to help selling out the, the promo, but we actually still do have to do a couple fillers. So, you know, we do have, let's say, like five spots left, right, straight up, and then the filler. But we actually still have to do two more fillers on top of that. But for the promos point, yes, it is close because that would kill half the promo breaks and then you can give away some break credit. But in general, guys, yes, we are actually really close. We've sold a lot of spots in Transcendent today. We've sold, uh, let's see, hold on. We sold about like 33, 33 spots out of the 58. Seven are tied up in a filler right there. So call it like, you know, 60. We're really close, actually. I expect to get this done tomorrow. But for the promo instance, yes, we are super close. We're selling on half the promos. Joe Carter. Gotcha, Rich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go Ducks, Oregon Ducks, right, Finns? Not, not Anaheim Ducks, please. Don't say that. Joe Carter, of course, that's Toronto. Yeah, Deneau's working out good. Man, you know, uh, you know who's playing really well this year is uh, Alex Ayafalo. He's been playing really lights out. Kellyev is getting his opportunity, you know, and just taking advantage of it. Campe's off to a good start of this year. William Contreras to 125. All in all, yeah. It's all, it's all working out so far. I do remember that fins up. I do actually. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I made me. Ooh, this is nice. Vladi blue or Vita blue. Sorry. That's number to 50. I do remember that. that was a while back. Actually. I think that was when we were in the old shop.
Yeah, yeah. It's such it's such a small shop now. I don't know if you've have you have you been to our new store here? If you haven't, whenever you do uh, come down, definitely got to visit this one. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. Orange. 15 of 15 Luke Voigt. That's a nice one. And have I gotten my second autograph already? I didn't, oh, there it is. Eloy Jimenez. Little big, big head. Eloy autograph. Number to 249. Awesome. Almost got nervous there for a second. I didn't realize if I was going to get so this one actually had three of them. So yeah, they're on average two to three, it looks like. Julio Franco for Texas. An orange again, Larry Doby. For the Cleveland Indians, 15 of 15. Another Julio Franco. Double for Texas here. When Arthur King, and this one's numbered uh, to 99. Oh, really? Yeah, they try to be consistent sometimes on what the short prints are, so that kind of narrows it down for us, you know? different doesn't it that doesn't look like this unless the coloring is just off but i'll penny sleeve this this should actually be looking like this color that looks so different that's not like a one of one is it no i think maybe the color just got faded off looks a lot different though so let's leave it it's like little things like that you know <laughs> We'll call that a color variation. <laughs> it's like, what the hell, man? Like, man. Actually, let's look at the code, actually. Ends in 97. Ends in 97. Was that a code? Oh, sh wait. Hold on. Base variation set checklist says they end in 97. That ends in 97. So that actually it has to be a short print. But the funny thing is that he's not actually on. Oh, he is actually. There you go. That is a sharp print. Yeah, he's on the checklist. So here you go. I'm gonna switch it back. Ends in ninety. Uh, ends in ninety seven, ninety four. Bryce Harper for the Phillies. See, it just yeah, it just looks weird. But that's a sharp print though. <laughs> now I gotta find the base and see what the base looks like. Whatever. We caught one though, right? Yeah. I feel accomplished. <laughs> it's a faded redemption. It's a faded variant. I don't know. <laughs> it's 
It's like, this is fun, but it's not fun. <laughs> it's like, we're really stressing in whether it's a short print or not. And then... Uh. It's a big roof. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. Let's rip one more box and we'll do two boxes in a row. You know what's funny is that there's this little kid that lives up the street from us on 14th. Uh, he's been coming to our shop for you know the last two years really because obviously he lives down the street. And he always used to talk about what's funny. Is the uh, first time he came to our shop, he was like, "Do you guys have any Christy Matthewson?" And I was like, "This little like seven year old kid, why the hell are they talking about Christy Matthewson?" And we're like, "Uh, not really." And we're just like, "You know why? Are you specifically looking for Christy Matthewson?" And he's like, "Like a hundred years old already? Like you know, obviously it's like over a hundred years, whatever." And then he actually told us that that's like his great great grandfather. So. He like always likes to collect any Christy Matthewson. So, what's funny is that there's actually a lot of Christy Matthewson in this product. So, I wonder uh, if he hasn't realized it yet. He'll probably come to our shop soon <laughs> and ask for some Christy Matthewson. Yeah, not every day you, you see a little kid walk in and say, do you have any Christy Matthewson cards? I know we should, right? Those probably won't be shipping anyways. Steve Birch, I believe you would get them. San Francisco Giants. If you don't mind, I'll keep like one or two. 
If I can get to that little kid. I'll just rip open the last box too. Alrighty, good luck, guys. Ron Washington, Minnesota Twins. Yeah, Jack. You know what, Jack? I don't really rip too much heavy base stuff anymore, so this is always kind of a different change of pace. But yeah, these hands still work just fine. These are veteran hands now, of course. You know, been breaking for like five years now, so I'm a veteran hands now. But they still got it. Brandon Lau. Number to 125. And it's just like once you get on a good groove of ripping, you're just unstoppable. You know, I could have ripped another two boxes straight doing that like that, you know? Whoa! That's a num autograph, Brooks Robinson. That is sweet for the Baltimore Orioles. Steve Birch. Number to 249. That's a sweet one. I think I went through this, but let me double check. Actually, no, I don't remember where the stack was. I might have went through these cards already, though. I think I did. Let me just double check, though. Maybe not, actually. Why does this dude have blue hair? Joe Carter for the Blue Jays. Number to 15. A lot of low numbers, uh, number cards. In this box. Actually, sorry, this is not the right box. I gotta start with this one over here.
We got a red Ryan Mountcastle. Look how beautiful that looks for the Orioles. Steve Birch again. Really, real? Well, have, did you notice that that coloring is so off, though? The short print that I found of Bryce Harper was very off. Like the, the it's like it, it was a the color was faded. But yeah, they're just they're almost identical. Usually, all the short prints are. It's like little things like Richard said earlier. You know. Swapping the logos, the color of the logo is a little different. There could be a missing number. Or, you know, it's just... It's little things like that that they make you look for, which makes the chase fun, but also kind of hectic. And frustrating, in a way. Like, sometimes Trump Sharpers will be like, they'll have that photo here and this photo there. You know what I mean? What was it sold for, Rebel? I mean, it's cool, though. Don't get me wrong. It's always fun. There's that Christy Matheson. I'll put that one to the side. Yeah, it ends in 97. I'll show you the back. Give me one second. See how faded the card looks, though? Oh, I thought you said you found a short print. Sorry. And Derek Jeter. 50. See, like, this one trips me out because the blue's background. I think it's a color blue. And John Crook for the Phillies. When Arthur King. Well, like I said, the coloring was offerable. That's how I found it right away. If the color was normal, I would have thought that Bryce Harper was the same. Oh, did I pass a base Harper? See, I mean, I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh, here you go. Here it is. So, yeah. Hold on one second. My eyes are really just looking for colors, for sure. But yeah, see the difference right there? See, the coloring is so off. So maybe what they meant to do is with the colors, this is what the cards looked like back in the 50s. You know, that's a sharp coloring, that's not, but there's really nothing different. Yeah, the photo might be slightly farther back, like Rebel's saying. See how the photo's like closer here and it's a little back there? But there's nothing different from this card. I mean... Like I said, the photo, it looks a little bit more zoomed in here compared to here. But other than that, it's just the color. That, that's, that's it. The back looks identical too. Yeah, it probably is. Who knows? But yeah, there's... Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it just looks like if it was an older version. Like, if this was, like, the like originally how they came out. This one obviously has, like, color, like, crazy, right? The color popped in our era. But back in the day, it didn't pop, right? So that's how they looked. That's probably what they're doing. Is the color back in the day looked like this. But now, with technology and stuff like that, that's how it looks for us. But to them, that's how it's supposed to look. That That's probably the only difference. So that's kind of cool, in a way, right? It kind of makes it a little bit more valuable, to me at least. Let 
Or Cy Young. I feel like I haven't seen a Cy Young in a while. Cy Young a short print? No, that's 67. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's it. The UV rays of the lights and stuff just fucked it up. Sunlight. Reese Hoskins, Shining Stars. And all in all, though, guys, it's a little stressful for ripping this because, you know, we don't want to mess up and miss anything, but it's also fun, actually. You know, this break is an hour and a half long break. It's kind of a fun break to do, though. I'm not going to lie. I'd do this again with you guys. Now that I got the hang of it. It's crazy how, like, you know, like, if you're a breaker, you know, you always see cards over and over again, especially the same sets. After a while, you will start seeing the difference in stuff. It's like, whoa, that looks a little different. Adrian Beltre. Number 299. Mark McGuire, look at that guy, jeez. Yeah, for sure. Sharpens are everything for sure. Oh, we're down to the last box, guys. Down to the last box. Good luck, everybody. And for the A's, Gene. About three per case. Well, yeah, Jonathan, we're going to go through all the cards for sure. So if I miss any, I mean, obviously, if there's about three, then I definitely missed two. <laughs> but they're obviously not too easy to find. I think, if anything, this was the easiest one to find because of the coloring. But um, we'll go through all these cards again before, if anything. And. I don't know, maybe if there's just, just too much, I mean, uh, maybe I'll just see if we can vouch to just ship it all, you know, to kind of save, save that hassle, but don't worry, guys. We'll do our best. But don't quote me, of course. And Benny for the Mets. Is there any card with a Tops logo that says 70 years on it? The other than the Bazooka Shining card, it's a short print. Cool. Thanks for the tip, Jonathan. It's like one of those. Ooh, Bobby Dalback. That's the Mike Trout rookie here, 2011 insert. And that's an orange out of 15. That looks very nice. A lot of orange out of 15s in this break, though, guys. Yeah. 
And Lou Gehrig for the Yankees. Yeah, I know, John. We went through the checklist. There's there's a, quite a few things to look after for. Um, and like I said, we'll we'll be double checking all that when it comes time to ship it. Alrighty, fun break, guys. Hour and a half long break, but fun break. Probably could get it done a little bit faster if I'm not trying to carefully look for all these stuff, but it was fun though. I liked it. So I'll quickly do a recap of the autographs and any numbered cards and short prints, of course. And again, guys, you know, we'll do our best to try to find all the short prints, any numbered cards potentially I may have missed. Um, but I did go back to try to find them, so I don't think I missed any, but I could have. Not a perfect perfect person but here are all the number cards that we got here though Bobby Dell back to 15 the Beltre out of 20 uh, out of 50 Derek Jeter I know to be honest Jonathan and I think that's what I'm gonna try to vouch but obviously it's not my call Vita Blue there's a little mini Sam Huff that was really cool Scooball Lou Bob, Rosario, Trey Mancini, Merrifield, Dustin May, Schmoltz, Javi Baez, Buster Posey. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. Also, this Ryan Mountcastle was really nice. I was at a 15 as well. Or 50. Here are the autographs. Little Benny right there. Little Gene. Reese. John. Crook right there. Robinson. Brooks Robinson to 250. Elo Jimenez. Paul LaDuca. Kyle Lewis. John Flaherty. Remember, that's going to go to the Cleveland Indians. All the non-MLB. Lauren Shahade. Greg Amsinger. Steve Blass. Dave Roberts. Dontrell Willis. Dusty Baker. Mark Loretta, Julio Franco, back to back, and that one's numbered. Ron Washington and Joe Carter. And then the one short print we did find, guys, was Bryce Harper. That was the card numbered at the bottom, ending in 97. So that was really cool. But again, guys, we'll double check everything. And if we do decide to just ship it all, then I think that's probably the best case scenario. But don't quote me, though. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, this was Archives. Two random teams each. Number one on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look for another one to get posted up for tomorrow. Appreciate it, guys.